Greetings one and all and welcome back to Bad North, where in the last episode we managed to recruit Egbert to the cause. We have been through quite a few um, areas, actually. Now, I don't know how the Vikings are going to expand on the next turn, so we'll see now where they push out to. Okay, Pepperhorn is the next one they're going to take, and we've already cleared Pepperhorn, so we could take this one easy if we wanted to. If we wanted to. Not sure that we do. Um, still, of all of these... We will probably get more gold from this island. But this one has access to quite a few. Well, actually, Salt Home is fairly good as well, because the amount of houses dictates the amount of gold we're likely to uh, see coming from that. We ultimately need to get up to Stahlberg to get a fourth commander, though. Um... We could push out. Kiano has more access. It would open up more places for us. Uh, and neither of these are particularly defensible. Are any of them particularly defensible, really? No, not for a little while. That one is quite defensible. Um, so that would be a, a decent one. And maybe this one to a degree. Because we could have Wayman up on top. And it's worth paying attention to the lay of the land for these sorts of things. Um, I mean, here we're gonna we're gonna have to work hard to, to protect these two. Over here, we can protect these two relatively easily. I would say we can definitely protect these two super easily. So that one's definitely one that Wyman can uh, take and hold by themselves. Okay, uh, Kaldi is the one we're gonna go to, and I'm actually gonna take the entire group so that we can see how they all work as a team. Diplo. Okay. Now, where are the enemy coming from? I think they're coming from over here. I think we spotted them. No, we did not. Over there. Very well. Uh, let's get archers in. Pike man up. Honestly, I, I just kind of feel that having your sword and shield units available to, to block incoming arrows, the pikemen really take the brunt of the attack, though. Uh, need you down there, mate. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You're not really going to be able to fight too well there, are you? Get in there. They're going to be in a rough time for a little bit. There you go. Good. Uh, right. Down there. Archers as well, please. You can move in. Where are the others? We're not seeing any others moving in just yet, so that's fine. There we go. No, nope, they... Oh, they did actually want to attack. Wow. I'm a little bit surprised they, they did. I would have held back a bit, right? You can go down there and take on those two by yourself. That shouldn't be an issue. In fact, go ahead and just be prepared for their landfall. The archers would be much less useful against them, simply because of their shields. Though these guys might not even make it here. Right, archers, you are now useful to me, so get up there. There we go. See what we can do. Well done, get down there. Please, thank you. Get in. You up as well. Got this. There we go. Where's the final wave gonna come from? Because this is most certainly not it. There we go. Well done. All right, the final wave is actually not gonna be too bad, all things considered. Yeah, I think we've got this one handily. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep you back. I was gonna say I could use my war hammer, but I don't actually think we need to. We could have held this. I mean, we might have taken a little bit more damage to the houses. But we could have easily held this with just Wyman and Egbert. Some decent uh, coin from this though. Wow, seven coin. I am impressed. Quite impressed, actually. I'm going to continue investing in Erlene. I want to get early in a level up if we can. Right, Salt Home is open to us, but we need to pass the turn. Right, where are you going to next? That doesn't surprise me at all, actually. It doesn't surprise me at all. All right. I'm going to say... I'm not sure where you're going to head through. We don't need to save everyone. It, 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 as with Faster Than Light, we don't need to be at every node. We don't need to make use of every single node. You need to think strategically. 
Um, and we could just send everyone in here if we would like to. I would certainly feel better about sending two people at a time. Ooh, there's strong winds here by the looks of it. Go ahead and deploy. I wonder how that's going to affect things. Will my archers be less um, viable here? I wonder. That'll be interesting. But I, I'm certainly considering just having my uh, units fight as three. Because as we've seen, we almost lost our lead group. That wasn't particularly nice. Uh, you stay there for now. Thank you. Shoot back. Shoot again. That's right. Block those arrows, please. And then you can just neutralize them. Get in there. Chase them down. They can't shoot if they're running away. Uh, you can move in here, I would say. And we'll have you guys at the ready. Hopefully they'll go for the pikemen, though. Maybe this, this indicates the direction all the boats are going to come from. That could be it. Because it would be hard to sail against that kind of wind. There we go. Perfect. Very nicely done. Honestly, I think the pikemen are probably the more um, useful of the groups. You can go and wait for them. They're not going to be able to do much against you. There we go. I think you lost one of your shields, actually. There we go. Just chase him down. And we've got a group of swordsmen over there. But yeah, I, I've got to say, I think the uh, the pikemen are more useful than the, the sword and shield at the moment. Or at least they are when they've got backup of archers. Uh, whether they'd, they'd be really that good on their own, especially because they can't move and fight. Which means if they're trying to retreat and swordsmen are chasing them down, then that's going to go really badly for them. Uh, there we go. Oh, well done. Right, let's get in there. Thank you. Well done. Right, let's get right down there. You can just deal with them as they're coming in. Uh, we'll have you arrayed like so. It should be fine. But yes, if you're trying to retreat your pikemen and swordsmen are chasing you, then they're probably just going to win because you can't fight back. You need time to deploy. There we go. Another two. No, three, actually. Nice. Okay. Not too bad. Let's continue to invest. Right, I can upgrade my Warhammer, or I can upgrade my skill, which I haven't used. Got enough to upgrade you overall, though, which is something I definitely want to do. And at that point, I think I'm going to start putting points into Egbert. Okay. Right, I would like you to upgrade your overall ability. Tougher, stronger, and all-around more effective infantry units. There we are. Quite expensive to do. Elite, the toughest melee troops available with increased strength and armor. Very nice. Uh, we barely have, have used their skills. I need to uh, make a point to do that a little bit better. Experienced pikes that can hold their ground for longer. And skilled archers with increased accuracy and rate of fire and damage. Hmm. I like all of those sounding things. Right, where are you going to expand to? Oh, quite far away, actually. All right. I think we're just going to make a beeline and then move down. Or another commander down there as well. Yeah, we're going to stick together until we've got four. And then uh, then we'll split into two groups of two. I think that'll be fine. Where are we going to get an attack from? Over here. And it's a tinsy little attack. No, actually, there's a group of archers. Okay. Well, let's get you down there then. And... You can hang tight here. No wait until you're a little closer. Notice they've got nicer looking shields now. Got a little gold around your, your helm. I like it. Buy it. Build that. Where's the pipe? Pointy end. Please. No? Okay. Fair enough. Get over there then. Oh, you're just going to stand there while they attack you? That I don't approve of. Move away. There we go. Man, you suck against archers. So yeah, if there's archers on the map, then pikemen are at a serious disadvantage. Can we get up there? We can. I like the sound of that. I right, in there and start drawing their attention with your shields, please. Oh, good. That was a running shot as well. Very nice. Not gonna happen. I got some swordsmen over there. Swordsmen down here as well. Okay. Well, I feel that you're gonna be able to hold this point 
pretty much indefinitely. So just get in position and wait for them to land. We should be able to take these guys out. They're not going to be a match for either of these units. They're probably going to wipe out a good chunk of them. Yeah, three already. Wow, there's no one left for my swordsman. That was actually pretty impressive. Uh, we've got archers over here. Uh, swordsman, you deploy. And you guys... Um, we've only got one use of that. There we go. Nice work. And again, please. Final wave incoming. Where from, though? Over there. Right, okay. Use your warhorn. Right, you can get up there. I have my swordsman in here as well to back you up. This should go fairly easily for us. We might even get some kills while, while they've yet to disembark. There we go. Ooh, uh, ah, of course. Spearmen particularly rough for that. I hadn't considered that at all. All right, draw back then. Um, try and take them out. Try and deploy. Maybe. No? Okay, swordsman. But yes, that, that um, displacement by the longboat ruined our spearman's position. I hadn't factored that in. So another thing that we have learned. Good. And let's invest all of that. Yeah, sure. We'll just keep investing in Egbert for now. Okay. All right, what can we see further on? Oh, well, we obviously need to go there. So it pretty means we're going. Pretty much means we're going to be hitting all of this. Right. We'll take uh, Stalberg, then move on to Otteron, uh, Otteron, I think, and then just move down uh, Kniever, Fair Isle, Tower Peak, and then Alvesay. But they can move over more than one yeah, there, more than one tile at a time. Uh, so you do need to bear that in mind. Now we will have a, uh, a smaller group joining us here. So I'm actually going to say we don't need Egbert or Erlene here. Yeah. I think we should be able to hold this map. That is a driving wind, my lord. All right, we've got a group heading down from this side of the coast. That should be fine. They are actually uh, archers, mind you. So let's try and stay out of the way. It's fine. They will have to make landfall there, and then we can charge out with my swordsman. We have to wait, though, because if they get any time to make free attacks, we will lose units. So, there we go. Nice work. Right, no archers over there. Is there any way they can get up here? No, they can't, so they're going to be in a pretty rough position. Awesome placement. I'm loving the weather effects, though. This kind of gives me the feel... Uh, it's a completely different art style, but it gives me the same sort of feel for how pretty the game is when it doesn't need to be pretty. When it's chosen a really pretty art style as um, Kingdom. Kingdom New Lands. Really love the look of that game. I'm just going to wait for you guys to get in here with my swordsman. Oh dear. They're taking aim. Keep on the move. Try not to be hit. Then immediately charge forward. And over there. Get in there. Alright, we already lost one, but that's fine. We can manage it. Uh, ooh, this one's going to be nasty. Uh, you can probably hold that position here. Yeah, I should imagine you'll be able to handle these two. They're both making landfall roughly around the same place. And they'll have to deal with you on either side of that rock they come around. There we go. Well done. Very well done, actually. Get down there. No. I wonder if the rain will have any effect on, the, on how frequently we get... Um, the, how quickly the fires go out. That was actually pretty cool. Alright. See how this one goes. Final wave incoming. What have we got? Swordsman on that side. Speeman on this one. Uh, send our swordsman round to deal with it. A spearman will easily be able to deal with this group. 
are you likely to try and go up or not, is the question here. Uh, I think you'll probably draw them in no matter what. Get in there quickly. Well done. Take them out. Good. Now I want you behind this group. Do your best, guys. It's a pretty rough fight you've got there. Move in. Get deployed. Take them out. There we go. Well done. Very well done indeed. I like it. How much are we going to get? Uh, six, not enough. But that's fine. Genevieve. Oh, actually, no, it was enough. Ah, oh, amazing. I approve. All right, you're going to be a new spearman. Let's get you set up. Very nice indeed. Okay, with that then, we can press forward or we can try and get the most out of the land behind us. It really comes down to whether you want to make a, a make the most of the land that you've got. This one, you could actually take this one. And then push forward and then clean that one out as well. Then push forward, clean that one out. Grab both of these at the same time. Well, I mean, we could. It's definitely an option. Hmm. We don't need to. We certainly don't need to. And it might be better to just push further forward and get some more distance between us and the enemies. Getting all of those beautiful, beautiful coins won't say no. Now it is technically possible that we could deploy to um, four islands at a time now. We won't be doing that. Not even once. wonder what the, the, the weather signifies though. It must have something to do with something. You guys just fire from up here. In fact, you could shoot from down there. You've got a line of sight, so... Go ahead. It just means you can start shooting earlier. Eventually, you break their shields if you shoot at them enough. So, it, it isn't a complete loss. Wow. I was a bit brutal, guys. These are regular swordsmen. Where are they going to make landfall? Yeah. You can make uh, a couple of shots from there, I think. Nice hit. Need to get your accuracy up. Quite badly, actually. Super badly. And... Dead. Good. Where's the next group coming from? Are you archers? You are archers. So, let's redeploy. There's no point in taking damage. We don't need to. They're going to have to adv advance, no matter what happens, so... We can take them out when they advance. And at this point, I think you'll meet them by the time they make landfall. There we go. Well done. That's right. Chase them down. Oh, wow. They actually managed to take you out. I'm impressed, actually. Genuinely impressed. All right, move in. Oh, we've got all sorts of abilities. In fact, you know what? Let me use one of these abilities, shall I? Uh, actually, that one's going to be a bit of a problem for me. Hmm. Go ahead. Move over. What I'm going to do is I am going to use volley the last moment. Are they about to make landfall? Come on. I know you want them. Go. Okay, you didn't. That was a little bit too late. Well done. Still managed to take him out there. That's fine. Move in. There we go. Alright, so I need to get the timing better on volley. Clearly. Alright, not a bad uh, little game. Let's get you up. We could upgrade that. Or, no, actually, we're going to go for the higher tier archers. I think that's a better a better plan. Definitely a better plan. Right, skilled archers with increased accuracy, rate of fire, and damage overall. Then veteran archers. A range unit that deals death from afar, but struggles with close encounters. Uh, okay. I'm not using your skills much, so there's not too much reason for me to uh, worry about those just yet. Um... Right, which one's the most defensible land? I am going to say... That one's the more defensible one. So we're going to send Wyman and Egbert to this one. Though, I, honestly, they're both kind of defensible. More or less in exactly the same configuration as well, in that there's two houses, one big, one small, on a highly defensible landmass toward the top. All right. Wyman, let's get you down here. Let's clear you guys out. 
And deploy. This is a lovely little village. Not many places we can hide from archers, though. Bit of an issue. Uh, not something we need to worry about just yet, though. Archers, onto this little rock. From there, you're going to be able to do some damage, I imagine. It might actually be a little bit better if you're closer, but it's fine. I do like the update to the, the way they look. Okay, nice. I'm seeing quite a lot of contact from the uh, arrows. Oh, wow! That was ruthless. I approve. I approve mightily. Game into position. Now, I wonder how this skill works. Oh, wow. So I, I can just have them charge to a tile. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. So from afar, you can just charge through pikes ready. So if we get an alley that people have to move along, that's going to be brutal for them. Well done. You can pretty much just hold that position, honestly. Everyone's going to be landing on this side of you. Oh, man, you've got to advance under this hail of arrows. That is, that is bad days for you. Super bad days for you. Oh, wow. You still managed to get displaced, though. Despite there was no one in there. Alright, look at that in mind. Well done. Where are they going to land? On this far side. Basically, they're going to be stuck there. Right. Get on up. Rain death from above, please. I like that they're positioning their shields to deflect from the arrows from the right directions. That's actually amazing. I wonder if you could have... If you had two groups of arrows from different directions, would they be able to defend against all of them? I very much doubt it. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you get down. Let's position here. This group is, is just amazing. Probably get a couple of kills before they even make landfall. Yeah, we, we've halved the, the size of that unit before they even got here. That's glorious. Uh, we'll be there. It's quite a, a large group, but shouldn't be any trouble for this particular um, grouping. I think the next person we get is going to be another archer. So that uh, I'll have one group of pikemen and archers, and the other one, uh, pikemen, swordsmen, and archers. You know, a little bit of everything. Uh, no. Are they gonna... Oh, okay. Oh! Can I get you to charge over there? No. Can't. Move you down. Now. Charge. Charge! Oh, that is glorious. I approve. Ah, marvelousness. Okay, good amount of money as well. Uh, start investing all of this into Wyman now. Get Wyman leveled up. Alright, uh, I'm going to say that that is a better location for Wyman to, to take, but now we've actually got another pikeman. It doesn't really matter, um, honestly. Still, I would rather this be for pikeman and archer, whereas this one would be for shieldman and, and uh, pikeman. Uh, right, okay, the boy. Where are we going to see the first attack come from? On this side, what is the attack comprised of? Just swordsmen. Okay, my main concern was uh, archers. Uh, actually, we can just move in position there. Get some, get some combat experience. Because my swordsmen right now are just way too powerful. That's amazing. Can't actually use that because I can't jump down on anyone, but we'll get there eventually. It will eventually happen. But the pikeman spear charge, that was a thing of absolute beauty. Okay. Mm, you need to go and deal with the archers, I would say. Thankfully, you're going to be able to deploy there with ease. So you guys just hold that position. Once the archers make landfall, just charge out and kill them. Actually. Oh, this might be an opportunity to test your skills. I like the prospect of testing your skills. Up you go. It's fine. Now, jump down. Ah! <laughs> back approves. Well done. Uh, sure. You can just hold that position, and you can be prepared for them to attack. I'm really liking the skills. All of a sudden, it's like, yeah, I, I, I get these. These make sense to me now. I didn't really need it there, obviously. 
That was just to, to show her off. Whereas the pikeman skill previously, the pike charge, that was genuinely a need. And it was glorious. Uh, we could probably just use get ground pound to knock these guys out of the way. How long does it take to recharge? Oh, it takes a fair while, actually. Okay. We'll wait for you to approach. And then... Ground pound. Go ahead. And... Whoa! So good. That's glorious. Uh, just regular swordsman over there. And we're going once again hold that position. How long does that take to recharge? Actually, it recharges really fast. Nice. Very nice. Another group over here. Could easily hold this position from them. I should imagine they're going to be able to do much about it. Though ground pound would have been better use on them. To be sure. Well done. Can you actually get over here in time? You might be able to. I wouldn't mind your pikes being used to uh, soften them up as they're trying to engage with my swordsman. Doesn't seem to actually needed it. Well done, guys. Very nice. Okay, all of this into you for now because we want to get you a new skill. Alright, so our pikemen are currently the ones getting all of the money. How are you going to advance on the next turn? Ouch, that's a little bit worse than I was, I was uh, hoping for, honestly. But okay. Uh, right, we're going to get a new item here. The item can be given to anyone, though, which is actually pretty cool. So, we're going to clear you guys. Well done. And we'll just apply here. Nice and uh, green, this map. I like it. All right, where are we going to see the enemies from? Which direction? Swordsman. All right. Uh, it's actually a fairly good direction to have them approach from. Because they are almost certainly going to go through this little, little gap there. Unless... Oh, no. Can't tell which side you're going for. I think you may actually be going for this side. Okay, get down there then. Chop, chop. We'll hold them. We don't need to use any of our skills for this. We can easily keep them back. Well done. All right, up you go. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky. Actually, get down there. I might use your volley on this one, actually. They're going to be making landfall on this tile. All right, now is your chance. Deploy. Didn't really make much of a difference. Okay, that's going to be rough. Get up there right now. You too. Start firing on them. Okay, that's... Oh, that was close. That could have been quite nice, actually. Uh, right, we want to control this approach. Really want to control it. You might actually be able to wipe out most of these guys before they really pose a threat. Nice. Very nice. So more of that, please. Well done. Unfortunately, we have to keep clear of them. Awkward. Uh, that being said, we can use the pike charge. Can you fire from up here? How far the pike charge go? No, you can't. Okay. Oh no, you can actually do it. Okay, let's move in. Alright, pike charge. Perfect. Doesn't appear to be friendly fire, which is always nice. Uh, let's get you up there. Uh, that one is going to be a rough one, but they have to go around. They have to go around. Quite a fair ways to get to uh, the location down here. So I'm going to let them do it. I'll... Actually, we'll back you up. Well, No. We're going to continue to attack them for now. This position should allow us to protect th this house. and th In fact, this entire approach. Without too much issue. Right, you've got your hail of arrows. Drop it. You actually took one out. Well done. Right, down there. Oh, this is... Not a good position for you guys, but you do have a skill that can call in more reinforcements if you need it. Please take them down. Come on. Okay, draw back. Run away. Okay, good. Summon from a, ha a house. Excellent. And position. Over here, please. All right, now you're actually in a... Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Run. Draw, the, draw them, that's right, draw them to the, the pikeman. Oh, that was luck, not judgment. Because I'd actually wanted them to run that way. 
Whew, that was a bit rough. Ring of command, eh? Hmm. What does this do? Uh, continue to invest. Uh, no, I want you to be able to get to the next tier of Python, please. Alright, let's have a look at what we can do. First and foremost... Oh no, no, we could upgrade that, but I would actually rather that. Increase... Ooh! Increases maximum squad size to 12? A bigger squad of archers would be able to rain more death from above. A bigger squad of spearmen would be able to hold... Mm. I think I might give... No, I can't give it to Arlene. Alright. I think... Uh, it's going to be Egbert then, I think. Yeah. And I can increase it even further? Oh my lord. And not for that much money either. I approve. Alright. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard of, a, of an area for us to hold. I say. It's a tiny, tiny little uh, bit of mud with a house on it. Mm, not that great, actually. Archers, great. Move back. It's fine. They'll have to uh, approach, and in that time, like my swordsman can move out and deal with them. But there's like no cover here whatsoever. A bit rough. We're not going to get much for this one either. But we have to come through this area, so. Right. And begin the advance. That's right. Under the hail of arrows, it's fine. Go ahead. Take them on. Keep advancing. Don't give him any chance to prepare. Well done. Very well done. Uh, actually, this one's going to be a bit rough. Um, get into position. Do your best here. That one is going to be rough. There's not much I can do about it, though. Well done. Right, get down there. Right, get in there as quickly as you can. Draw them out to the pike if you can. Oh, all right. Wasn't great. There we are. And the pikemen basically create a massive obstacle for them. They can't get into the pikemen, they just take damage when they try. Two groups of pikemen that might actually hold their own quite well. And there we are. Well done. Another group, much the same setup. I'll put the pikemen in their general approach to the house. You can march forward and actually deep. Well, you know what? Instead. Bob! Nice and easy. That is not much of a final wave. I think we can handle this. I mean, if they are going to land on the same tile, they can't expect me not to use my ability that will allow me to just punt them all into the ocean. Though I've only really used it in positions where I can punt them into the ocean. I wonder what happens if you do it much further inland. Do they just get thrown back? Or do they actually take damage and die from it? Either way, well done. I think that was the, the right choice of uh, combatants for that one. Upgrade available to your skill, but not to your actual uh, abilities, core abilities. I got another item over there. Got a lot of money around here, though. So to see a lot of money, actually. I can only imagine that's going to mean that things are going to get rough. Okay, you're only going to take one at a time. Mm, I don't trust that, actually. No, I don't trust that even slightly. This one looks like it'll be a rough one, but we're going to have an extra unit there, so... Sure. Let's get in. I'm going to have you sit this one out. And, yep, yeah, that's good. Deploy. Oh, look at that huge archer squad. Amazing. Where are they coming from? Is that them? Yes, it is. Uh, right. Get you down there. You can just stay up top. My archers can just rain death from afar. There we go. I wonder if we'll actually take any of them up with... with uh, wow, you're actually getting a lot of hits there. Well, I guess there's three more of you, so that makes a lot of sense. That shield is taken... Yeah, we took one of them out with arrows. That is actually pretty impressive, considering. Right, you get yourself down there. You're going to need it over here. As are you. 
realistically speaking. Let's get you up onto this high ground. And that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Do your best, please. Will you please attack these guys instead? Where are they going to make landfall? They're going to make landfall there. Surely. No, they're not. Oh, okay. Well done. Gonna need you back here, guys. Well done. We really do need you back here. Go. Do what you can. We do not want to lose this little group here. No? Okay, move forward then. Yeah. Oh dear. Might have been premature doing that. Yep, yeah, it was. Thankfully. You can just summon reinforcements, so please do. Alright, that is going to be a killing floor for us. Because of the sheer amount of people who have no protection from archers. So of course I stick them behind the forest. Oh, actually it looks like they can be through. To some degree. Uh, okay, archers over there don't want to mess with you yet. Nor in a position to do that well. There's only six people here. Right, you go and get uh, refreshed. Archers, up you go. Pikeman. Move in. You're going to take a bit of damage here. Right, go. Pike charge. Charge! Nice. And then you're in position to... Oh dear, you're not actually trying to kill the mine. Uh, okay, move back, I guess. Keep on the move. There we go. Archer battles. Alright, uh, you can go head up there. We'll get our swordsman down here as well. We can bide our time before charging out there. You should have the advantage here because of the, the height. Yeah, they, they've not even engaged yet. It's actually quite impressive. Get in there. Good. Chase him down. Excellent work. I massively approve. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. Well, we've got enough to get you up to the next rank of Spearman, which is something I definitely want to do, but then all of the rest needs to go... Oh. We're, we're going to do this, because you're so much better if I can get you shield. And that is what we're going to be going for. Uh, I would like you to be sword and ball, please, and indeed, thank you. There we are. But that's where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. We've made a, a fair bit of progress now, and we're looking at a new area entirely. And in the next one, we're going to be taking Genevieve and Erlene out to Tower Peak. And then we'll probably just cut straight through Al's, uh, Alsei to Aelum. Looks like Shapinsei is a dead end. So we're going to have to go through Hassel no matter what. But uh, interestingly, from Mouse, there's something that goes back. Hmm. We'll see how that goes in the next episode. I really do hope you're enjoying the series so far. Do let me know down in the comments and I will see you next time. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.